Anyway, I've been playing a lot of Baltro lately. Uh, I've been, like, my, my past few runs have just been grinding out high-stake runs to, uh, to just get unlocks and shit, and I'm, I've just been grinding the checker deck because it's f***ing brainless. <laughs> you can just do flush builds, and you don't have to think about anything. It's so good. Look, it's it's fucking orange steak. Like I'm I'm not I'm not expecting to get a get a banger straight off the bat. It's gonna take a little bit. Extra voucher. I'm not gonna be able to afford it anyway. Fuck. Fuck. I'm not get. Why would I, Why would I not skip the first? Actually, why am I, am I stupid? Like why would I not skip the first blind? I'm not getting money out of it anyway. I'm literally getting zero money out of this. I'm getting nothing out of this. I mean, it doesn't matter. I guess, okay, I'm getting three coins out of that, fair enough. I'm just gonna ignore all this. Pillar. Let's make the next shop free. This shouldn't be too bad. Two good hands is all it takes, even if the six is debuffed, that shouldn't matter. It should be good. Okay, it's three hands, that's still fine, I don't care. Getting some interest too. All right. Supernova is actually pretty good, considering all I'm gonna be doing is playing flushes. Fortune Teller is fun to play around. The thing is, I, I'd be I'll, I'd be stuck with both forever if I take them. That's the problem. Let's, see, let's look at the let's look at the packs first. Supernova, I'm probably taking. There's very little reason not to. Uh, this is it. I, I hate the big Arcana packs because I'm always spoiled for choice. Do I just take a random Joker? Do I just make some mold cards early? Couple of planets, hope for a jupe. I don't know, I think that's unlikely. Delete, I mean, card removal is always alright, but this deck, it doesn't really matter that much. Obviously, I mean, making more spades, I guess, but like, give me a random joker, bro. This one is dog shit. <laughs> I don't want this one. <laughs> Thanks for the money, I guess. Uh, what have we got here? I apologize. I should have bought the jokers first. Ah, uh, ah, I should have bought the jokers first. I forgot that like half of the fucking spectral cards affect your jokers. All right, well these are useless to me. Uh, oh well, Supernova's fine. Fortune Teller. I've used one tarot. It's not gonna. It's not gonna pop fast enough. It takes too long to get going. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, man. Oh, you know what? We we'll get redemption with the spectral pack, surely. There you go. <laughs> I can make a card polychrome, maybe. Uh, I guess it's gonna be this. Ten of hearts. Let's go. That's all that matters, baby. We love to see these. We love to see these. I just realized I'm a fucking mega Twitch streamer here. I didn't fucking do my make my bed, dude. How can I do this to myself? How can I be on camera and forget to make my bed? Come on, man. Why didn't you say anything, Dad? Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> I can't be doing that. Like, I, I want to pride myself on being, like, a remotely normal person. <laughs> good good job, me. Anyway, Madness, huh? M madness can't destroy Eternal Jokers, right? That's actually kind of good. That's actually kind of, like, great. Because I would hate to lose Supernova. Everyone raving about this game? I never saw poker, so I don't look into too much. You don't even need to know poker. Because all the poker hands are listed here that you can play. It just tells you what hands you can play. So if you don't know anything about poker, you can always just look this up. And after that, it becomes a normal roguelike. You just read what the cards do. You just read what the jokers do, and what all the cards do, and it's very self-explanatory. It's actually a very straightforward game. Star Wars Zero Discords? This sucks ass. Wait a minute. Does it still gain molt even if it doesn't destroy jokers? Like, I know it scales on blind side. I thought the condition also... Okay, I guess it... Because I thought it also needed to destroy jokers. That's crazy, okay. That's crazy. Alright. Cool. Yeah, this game is just math and reading. You just, you just read what the cards do, basically. It's pretty straightforward. Why is this mega standard pack? Is it- are they always 10 bucks? Oh, Alright, it's because of the stake, right? It's like, wait a minute, these aren't supposed to be that expensive. Well, maybe it's gonna be a low joker run. That's- that's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna save my cash for now. And give me extra discard, why not? Free shop, okay. I mean... Nah, I need to play. I need to play blinds to get get this to scale. I can't afford to skip lines too much, unless it's a, like a really good tag because I need this thing to scale. So I gotta like just just play random blinds. Like this shit's easy to clear anyway. So gotta make use of the scaling while I can. I mean, it's eternal. <laughs> I guess the only jokers I can ever add are eternal ones. 
each face card held in hand is a one in two chance to give one dollar. That's so, so bad. It's not even funny. I might have. I can't even afford that. Never mind. Okay, fuck it. Just keep scaling, brother. All I need now is the voucher that gives it, that makes it so that uh, celestial packs always have uh, Jupiter's in them. And then I'm good. That's all I need. And this run is probably one. Or just Celestial Packs in general, I mean, I'll just buy them anyway, because getting Jupiters would be nice. Oh well, you can't win them all. Good thing my flush is still level 1. <laughs> Good thing it's still level 1. And uh, we're just cooking. We're just cooking just fine. I haven't gotten the unlock yet where you have less than 4 Jokers for uh, the entire run, so this is pretty good. Man, I would love to have a baseball card. I mean, it's gonna get destroyed, unfortunately, but man, I would love to have it. Mmm, that would be so good to have. Unfortunate, isn't it? Unfortunate. Uh, to be fair, I only have one uncommon joker anyway, but like, it's unfortunate, yeah. Uh, oh well. Can I get the overstock? Maybe, maybe later. I didn't mean to reroll, but whatever. Mega buffoon pack. You know, no, I need to scale. <laughs> I was thinking about it for a second, but they're gonna get deleted anyway unless they're eternal, and I don't know if you can get eternal uh, jokers to show up outside of shops. I don't remember. Um, so realistically, I should just not bother and just scale this instead. Like, this one's eternal. Business card ain't actually all that terrible. Business card is actually an alright econ joker. Uh, the problem is I will never be able to get rid of it, no matter what I do. Hmm. Like, I think I benefit more from fucking celestial packs, honestly. Yeah, I am struggling with econ, to be fair. Fuck it. I will need a lot of money for the packs, they are quite a little bit more expensive. It's not like I really need the Joker space. So just play face cards, brother. That's all that matters. Uh, Eternal Drunkard. I mean, look, I... Okay, so I... The unlock is never having more than four Jokers the entire run, right? Until, like, anti-8 at least. Is it worth giving up one of those very precious slots right now for one extra discard? I don't think so. I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cause like, what if a good Joker? Like, what if I find I don't know the tribe? Like, it's it's rare as fuck. But what if I find the tribe and it's eternal? I feel like I should save one slot just in case. Like, I'll be fine for the foreseeable future anyway. But just in case, just in case, like a crazy Joker shows up, that's eternal. Maybe just maybe for that reason alone, I would want to keep it. Play only one hand type this round. Well, I got good news for you, buddy. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna be doing. That's all I'm doing. It's a flush deck, baby. All I'm doing is playing flushes. You, uh, you don't have to worry about a thing. Man, neither of them gave me money. That's crazy. It's polychrome. Unfortunately, it will also get instantly deleted as soon as I play the next blind. Uh, so I'm not gonna take it. A darn shame indeed. But it's not like Raised Fist by itself is all that good to begin with. It's kind of doo-doo. <laughs> the only thing saving it here would be the Polychrome, but it's kind of doo-doo anyway. I might get the Planet Merchant Voucher. But for now, I just gotta play blinds. This shit's already times five, dude. Holy... Yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna struggle to scale, huh? I think I'm scaling just faster than the game is. Right now. As long as I play every single blind. That's kind of funny. Anyway, uh, give me the voucher. Actually, I can buy it after the next blind. Give me the celestial pack. A single jupe makes my day here. So important. Like, I would love to skip for this rare joker, but realistically, it won't be eternal. And I'd rather get the times 0.5 out of the madness joker. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care too much about endless. I care about winning the run. There's like some Andes apparently that are like in. I've, I've seen like like other content creators talk about on Twitter and stuff. How people get real antsy about like, oh, why didn't you uh, build this run for Endless? Brother, I don't feel like going on a one hour long Balachor run. I don't need that. <laughs> I, like, it's fun to see how far you can take it in Endless, but you need like a really specific build to do well in Endless. Like, almost any build can easily beat Anti-8. You don't need much to beat Anti-8. But to go further into Endless, you need an insane run. That shit scales exponentially. From anti-9 to anti-10, the boss blind goes up by like 6 million or something. It's crazy. Actually, doesn't it like just say it somewhere? 
That probably says in the main menu. In the collection. Collection? Blinds? Yeah, there you go, like... It goes from... From 11 to 12, it goes from 26 million to a billion, bro. Like, that's insane! Yeah, like, just let me just get, like, a once-in-a-fucking-lifetime build real quick. Like, come on, man. This is crazy. Anyway, planets, why not? Give me some of them. Give me some of them. After every player discard, only draw three cards. Shouldn't be a big deal. Shouldn't be a problem. Because I probably only need to play two hands. And I win. You know what? Discard one, there you go. And we're done. It's just that easy. <laughs> I think this run just beats every single round in two hands. Period. you will love to see that. Love to see that juke straight off the bat. The reroll voucher. Blackboard is a funny one. See, Blackboard is actually one where I'd be like... That could be worth the final slot. I just have to make sure that I basically only play hearts. This one doesn't seem too bad to proc, to be honest. Like... I pretty much just have to make sure... That I somehow always only have five hearts in hand. Real- okay, let, let's just do this by like realistic probability, right? I could just get Blackboard and start destroying hearts. Or... like even... In a best case scenario, or like, no, let's go. In a worst case scenario, Blackboard is active like half the time. Right? Half the time I'm gonna draw a hand of hearts or a, or a hand of uh, spades. So realistically, for the time being, I should take it and only play. Uh, only play hearts so that the spades are always in hand. And then eventually, you know. Look into destroying them. I'm gonna save money for now because, you know, packs are fucking expensive. Like, in this instance, it's not gonna work unless I discard a bit and go for a hearts one. Whatever, I'll just play the spades. But, you know, like, half the time it's gonna work. Now I've drawn too many hearts. That's also unfortunate. It's RNG, baby. That's gambling for you. But, you know, it's not like I need the times three right now anyway. I guess I could have done it in one hand if I really went for it. You know, Smear Joker would be funny if I had, like, Ancient Joker or something. Oh, this would have also been a funny one, but I'd, I'd need other Jokers. Smear Joker by itself does nothing, especially on the checkered deck. By itself, it does nothing, especially on the checkered deck. But if you have another Joker that affects a specific suit, you can effectively double that effectiveness with Smear Joker. That being said, I don't have another Joker, so... It don't matter. I can create a random rare Joker and set my money to zero. That seems bad. I don't want to create random cards because they could be of bad suits. So it's it's Wraith, but then I get the fifth Joker and I don't want that. So unfortunately, I'm not doing this. Baron is funny. Shortcut is extremely good if you're going for straight builds. Unfortunately, none of these things are interesting to me. Maybe, just maybe. All face cards are drawn face down. Okay, here's the, here's the play. We just play this hand. <laughs> we just play this hand and then don't worry about it. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Okay, I got two too many parts. Can I get rid of those? Perfect! Turn them into spades. You love to see it. This is gonna be a big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. An Arcana pack. Finally, do it. No card removal. I guess I can turn hearts into spades, though, which is exactly what I need, so... That'll do. Uh, Hone doesn't matter to me here, because it's not like I'm adding any more jokers to the deck. Like, that's still half the fucking bl blind code right there. Without Blackboard. <laughs> Once Blackboard hits... Ooh, baby! Ooh! I want the Arcana pack for potential card removal. Or upgrading of existing cards. That's fine as well. And then... Give me a Jupiter, baby! Let's go! Keep hitting them. We're at 8.5 times on the damn Madness Joker. It's actually getting kinda crazy. Man, they attempted me with a lot of decent jokers, it's, it's crazy. Anyways, so let's show pack. Ah, I guess I'll get a straight flush upgraded. Who knows, maybe I'll accidentally play one of those at some point. Snake looks so cancer with packs increasing cost each other. It's it's rough. It's it's very rough. Thankfully you only have to clear it once for the unlock. And then well I guess there's one more stake after it, but yeah. Chat. Realistically. One of the two suits has five hands here, uh, five cards here. Which one do we bet? Is it spades or hearts? I could just discard 
But I like gambling. <laughs> I like gambling. Um, let's just bet on hearts. Let's bet on heart. It's realistically it should be spades because I have more spades. You raise a valid point. Okay. Well, this time it's definitely hearts. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Discard these. I think I only have these five hearts cards. Let's go. Big number. Oh yeah. See, like, what if I got the, the, the tribe here instead? Can you imagine? Holy. Would have been so good. Turn the left into the right card. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be death here. Just get rid of more hearts. Might as well, right? Yeah. There you go. Might as well get the blank. I've gotten the upgraded version of it one time. But I guess it's... It is what it is. 0.5. Let's fish for some hearts here. Okay, fine. What? Uh, fine. Whatever. Okay, let's, let's be a bit cheeky here. Discard this three. Discard that four. Discard that. Okay, I can't discard anymore. Unfortunate. I was hoping that I could make it so there's no hearts left. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But uh, I'm starting to run into trouble here, huh? With, uh, with the scaling. That's a, that's a rough one. Then again, it is the final ante, so I think it still doesn't matter. A jupe goes a long way here. The packs are 11 bucks. I am... <laughs> brother, I'm going to jail? Holy! Uh, two more blinds, come on. Easily doable, right? Wait, discard this. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Honestly, it's the Arcana pack here, man. Some more deck control. Dude, we're so due. Dude, we're so cooked. But also, we're so due. I, don't, I haven't really been paying attention to this part because, um... You know. Yeah. It's not like I... I, I yeah. Mm. Look. Don't worry about... <laughs> don't worry about that part, okay? Uh, we're so due. I probably should have bought the Buffoon Pack and just foregone the uh, 4 Joker unlock. That being said, good luck to me, I guess. <laughs> Look, maybe... Maybe I don't actually need the cards to be non-debuffed. Let's see, let's see, let's see! Okay, we're cooked. <laughs> we're absolutely fucked. There is no shot. It's so over. Oh, Blackboard- Blackboard still works. Never mind. Blackboard still fucking works! Blackboard still works! You'll love to see it. Alright. Alright. Cool. Unlock secured. Probably. I don't know. It didn't pop up, but I- Maybe I've done it already? I swear there's an unlock related to only having four Jokers until the end of the run. I think I can just go into- Into the collection and take a look, right? Uh, yeah, unlocked and not discovered. Okay, cool. Awesome. So I can start taking Jokers. The thing is, like, obviously I gotta take an eternal one, and it's gotta be a real damn good one. Uh, I'm gonna save money for now. I'm just gonna keep fucking rolling. Discard this shit. Okay. Boom. We're clearing every- we're clearing every blind just about right now. Just, uh, just about. But... Hmm. Hmm. Let's just take Grabber, why not? No repeat hand types. So what you're saying is I have to clear this one in the first hand. Or I'm cooked. Alright. This is probably my best chance. I... I guess I could try to fish for a straight flush. I need a... I need quite a bit to get the straight heart flush going though. Like, if I played this, 125 times 16, you know what, that's like 1600, 25 times 16 would be... No, hold on, I can do this, you don't have to tell me. That would be 400, so it'd be 2000 base, 2000 base, plus, uh, I don't know, man. Like, uh... Oh yeah, times 1.5 because of the polychrome as well, forgot about that. Is that more than 820k? Ah, fuck it, worst case I just play like a full house. It was nowhere near enough, brother. <laughs> it was nowhere near enough.
Um, that being said, I actually have a decent chance to maybe go for a straight flush here. I just need a king. I just need a king. Let's go. Also, while we're at it, discard this. Please. No, okay, fine. I should be fine. I don't need the 3x. It's a royal flush, matter of fact. I didn't even, didn't even consider that part. I, which means I still have the straight flush, technically. That being said, not happening. Um, but I have three hands. This, should, this is doable, right? No discards left, but... Royal flush is a straight... Does royal flush count as a straight flush? No way, right? Royal flush doesn't count as a straight flush. I mean, it it tech, it literally is one, but it counts as its own thing, right? Or does it not? <laughs> does it not? Because it has its own name over here, so I assume it counts as its own thing, which means it's not a repeat hand type if I want to play a straight flush. I don't know! Don't shoot the messenger. Fuck. Okay, well that's fine. It's not like I would be playing a straight flush right now anyway. The best thing I think I can play is a two pair. Actually, I can play a normal straight. It's gonna have shambolic points, but... I'm only gonna have spades left in hand. Maybe? It's it's okay. It's not great. It's not great. Um yeah, you play you definitely play two pair here, right? With the ten as a kicker, so that uh get some more points. Yeah, I don't think this is one I don't think this one's happening anymore, man. Nah. Also very close to another royal flush, that's really funny. Pair. Yeah, whatever, dude. Whatever, I got the unlock. There you go. Invisible Joker. That's pretty good.